There we go. Hi everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about vintage hats to sell on eBay. And I'm going to tell you up front how we're going to structure this video so you know exactly what's coming and exactly um, where you're going to find the information that you need. So if you're here for a certain thing that you can find it. So if you're new here, welcome. I've got lots of new subscribers and I'm really glad that you're here. If you are new, definitely go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it because I make lots of videos about different ways to make money on eBay. I am a stay-at-home homeschool mom that helps support my family by selling online. And so this, uh, let's dive into this. So here's how we're formatting this video. I've got a small haul from some hats that I just picked up at an estate sale this past weekend. So I'm going to show you the research and talk to you about why I chose these ones. And then I'm going to talk to you about some of the hats I've sold in the past. And we'll go through some of my eBay sold and my Etsy sold. So you can kind of get an idea of what to look for and what kind of prices you can get. Um, I ran into a couple of reseller friends at this estate sale and they saw me with the hats in line and they were like, oh, I didn't, I saw those hats and I wasn't really sure if I should pick them up. And the answer was yes. <laughs> okay, so let me, and, and also I am live, so if you're ever interested in catching me live, hit the little bell um, so you're notified when I put out new videos. Normally I post it, but I didn't post this one. Um, and I'm going to, I might jump into the chat every now and then, but I'm going to kind of save all the questions and everything from the chat till the end um, so that I can, because I know me and I get off track. And So hello everybody in the chat, and I will be there soon. Okay, so these hats, the first hat, first of all, is disgusting. It is grody and disgusting and nasty and I almost didn't get it. There's the inside of it and it's all crunchy and gross and sweaty and I all like I said I almost didn't get this hat. I paid a dollar for this hat. Okay so um, this hat is a Texas Shrine Clown Association hat and the reason I went ahead and got it even though it's disgusting and gross I'm not gonna clean it up because I don't I don't clean the hats. I'm not gonna spend my time doing that. Um, so it, the reason I got it was because of some of the patches that were on it, honestly. There are, there's a vintage Miller patch right there. There is a vintage Coors patch. And then there are some really cool like Texarkana, I'm going to need to wash my hands, Texarkana um, patches on here as well. So I got it for that and also because, I mean I'll probably dust the, knock the dust off of it, but um yeah, so let me talk to you about why I got that. Well, the, the patches for one. Um, and also because it's a really cool snapback hat. And some why that somebody might want this. Here's the thing too. I've had some things that have sold to um, movie studios. If you've been doing this for a while, or once you've done this for a while, you, it's pretty cool. I've had to, I sold some cufflinks to um, a production studio that was doing a play. And uh, so that was really cool. So you never know, somebody might be doing a vintage movie, you know, set in the whenever and need a really gross looking trucker hat. You never know, right? Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm going to show you all the ones I've got and then I'll show you the research. So the next hat that I picked up, there were actually a couple of these, so I wish I'd picked them up because this is all from the same estate sale and I paid a dollar for each hat. Sometimes you'll come across hats at a garage sales for a quarter, 50 cents, and most of these I'll probably sell for probably in the $20 range, maybe more. So this is a, it's it's a Shriners, Ben Her Austin. I mean, just the colors. It's in fair condition. There were a couple of these. I felt like I got them. Maybe they're in another bag, because I felt like I got more than one of this. And then I also picked up a vintage Austin City Limits hat. They don't make them like this anymore, and I can't find this one out there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I could tell it was vintage one from the inside being really, really stiff. Um, it's got this corded piece here, and then they don't do it with the red um, stitching anymore. So there's that. So I'll show you that as well in just a second. And once I, I'll clean that part off, like I'll dust it off. But I'm not doing like deep sweat cleaning, like on this hat, that other hat. Anyway, and then um, the next hat I got, I feel like I got more. They may still be over in a different bag, is this one. And it says, sorry about that, Texas. And it's an Alaska hat. So if you are from Texas, then you know it's a big deal because we like to think we're the biggest, but we're not. Um, so the reason I got this one, it's in great, great shape. And we're going to talk a little bit about the patches. So on a lot of vintage hats, um, whether they are snapback, whether they are trucker, whether they are meshback, um, a lot of times these with the patches 
that are like embroidered patches that are on the hat are pretty desirable. So I guess I should talk real quick about the different styles. I did a video a million years ago, I think with Chris even, Bonafide Hustler, where we talked about the different styles of hats. So like a trekker hat would be more like straight up on in the front, like so. Um, and this one would be considered a snapback because it's got the snaps. And then this one would be a mesh back, obviously, mesh back, and I could also call it a snap back. So if this part on the hat, let me show you, if this part like here goes like whoo, straight up and back, kind of like uh, take this job and shove it. Do you remember that movie from a million years ago? What was that in the late, late 70s, early 80s? Um, that one would be considered more of a trucker style, and this one is not necessarily a trucker style. Some people throw that tag in there anyway because some people don't really know the variations on that but um, there's that okay let's take a look at the at the research okay I forgot to put my chat over there I was like ah, oh, the chat popped up okay so hi everybody in the chat hello thank you for coming and I'm gonna come at the end and we'll talk some more so there were a lot more Shriner hats at this estate sale, and so these are some, and I did get a comment on one of my other videos. It's like, you weren't showing sold, you were showing us um, things that were up there. Well, it, it, you know what, you've got to do your research all over the place. So yeah, it's ideal to make sure that you're looking at solds on eBay, but honestly, I don't go just straight off of solds on eBay because sometimes the item's not there. So I look at Etsy, I do a Google search where it pulls up you know, Etsy, eBay, PickClick, it pulls up all these different sites. So if you see that it's not, oh, it's not uh, sold, it's okay. Because in a minute I'll show you an Apple hat that I have that just sold, and I couldn't find another one like it. So if I'd only gone, on, gone off of e at eBay sold, I would have never decided on a price, right? Okay, so sometimes you just have to stick a price on it and just let it ride. Okay, so here we go. So these are some mesh back Shriner hats, vintage um, that are up there right now for this one's 30 bucks as you can see it's got that patch um, as opposed to this one that snake river I'm showing on my cursor going like you can see it but that one's more like um, screen printed on and it's not a, a patch um, but it's still selling for $19 and then um, like here's this one with the patch on it that's selling for 20 I couldn't find my exact one the Shriner Clown Association one, the really nasty gross one. But when I list it, I'm going to make sure that I get all of those, you know, vintage cores, Miller, Texarkana, and i got to decide if it's a crawdad or if that's a lobster. I'm going to go with crawdad because it's Texas. We don't really have lobsters. Anyway, um, thanks, Mary. Yes, hit the thumbs up, everybody. All right, so going through those, um, my, my Shriner's hat, I'm probably going to, as nasty as that thing is, I'm probably going to put it up for about $20, maybe even more, because like I, I can bring the price down, and that thing is disgusting. But it, <laughs> I, watch me sell it. Watch. Um, okay, so next, let me try not to close these in case I need to come back. So I wanted to show you some of these are the, when I did a search for um, vintage mesh back hats, these are sold, and I sorted them by highest to lowest because I know when I'm out at um, estate sales and garage sales sometimes I'll come across hats and if it'll be and you'll see when I share my my sold it'll be some random like Alvin boxing company or such and such trucking company that's like so localized to the area or just kind of random and um, that you would think maybe wouldn't be something that would be very sellable but it is if it's vintage it's got a cool patch it's got because a lot of times hipsters want something that nobody else has you know what I mean so anyway but ones that tend to do well are also really big named ones like Brent Mountain Dew you know that's a that's a unicorn right there um there was some other ones like John Deere that's a Kodiak it looks like um, racing and Caterpillar ones and I'm scrolling kind of fast Here's an old McDonald's, vintage McDonald's hat, you know. So definitely be on the, look, here's another one, Hardy's Racing Team, right? This one sold for $157. Snap-on tools. Yeah. So there's Yosemite Sam. That was my school's, high school's mascot. It was technically the Texans, but Yosemite Sam, that's what they used. Um, anyway, so John Deere. And again, this is sorted by highest to lowest recent. Um... 
Oh, down the rabbit hole says I boxed at Alvin Boxing Club 20 years ago when it was still there. That's funny because I, I sold a half of it. <laughs> That's why I brought that one up. Isn't that funny? Okay. All right. So just to kind of give you an idea that those are like the highest end ones. So even if it's something random, don't overlook it. If it's a buck or a quarter, why not dive in and give it a try? So here's, uh, I'm looking at my Texas Shrine Clown Hat Association again to try to find this one and to try to find the other one. And I couldn't find either of them. But, you know, I'm seeing patches. I'm seeing other hats. And I don't think these were sold. So my other one that's got the, I don't know, because here's the deal. So when I'm looking at, at some of these other shrine hats that are up there, one, I think mine is cooler. It's one that's really super vintage. It's got the patch, and it's got this amazing coloring with the red, the green, and the yellow. So I think that, that mine would go for a bit more because it's got more of a wow factor. So even though I see some up there, this is me talking through how I'm pricing stuff, um, me seeing other stuff up there that might be up for lower, I'll probably price that one a little bit higher than, say, this $14.99 one because it's just white and it's screen printed on there, kind of like the, you know, and mine is really showy. So I'll probably list mine closer to the $25 range. Now we're moving into <laughs> hunting stuff. Okay, and I am going to come talk to you all in the chat in a second. I feel like I'm neglecting you, but I'm trying to stay focused. Okay, so again, here's another one. And like I said, I don't just look at eBay solds when I'm doing my research. You know, let me scoot that up so you can see. I also look at Etsy, and I do a Google search, and I click on Shopping because then it pulls that up. And I also click on Images because on Etsy, eBay, I know when solds happen, it kind of goes away. On Etsy, it, um, they stay there. So when I click on um, Viewing Images on Google to find my hats, then if I see something like it or similar, I can click on it. And even if it's sold on Etsy, it'll pull it up and then I can find out the sold price. So that's uh, kind of another way I do it. I look all over because I list on Etsy as well. eBay and Etsy. Okay, that was it for that one. Um, so like here, the, the reason I pulled up this one was just because it showed up in Google search, honestly. Um, I've never messed with this site before, but it pulls up a lot of, what site is this? It's called Zebby. Is it really? Because I have a friend named Zebby. Uh, yeah, so Zeppi. Okay, so um, it pulled up 50 re results for Shriner baseball cap on eBay, Etsy, and other sellers. So it kind of does a scrape, I guess, of all these different sites. So it gave me a good idea of some of the ones that are up there. They're not sold, but they're ones that are up that I can kind of get an idea or even see if mine shows up somewhere else, whether it's on another site other than eBay or so, and again, these ones I'm seeing for 15, 17, but I think mine's kind of cooler, and I think mine's more vintage than those, so I'm happy to, to price mine up. And again, I tend to price higher, as many of you may know. See, look at this one. This shrine circus hat that's up for $62, and then we've got, okay, I wanted to talk about the patches, right, because I told you I got this hat because some, some of the patches that were on it, so let's say you find just an old shirt or a nasty old hat like this. It's got some cool patches on it and they want something, you know, they want it for cheap. They want to sell it cheap. You know, it might be worth picking it up and picking the patches off. Um, I'm not going to pick the patches off this. I'm going to sell it as is. But if I wanted to, then these are, these are sold, I think. Let me go back. I know I'm scrolling fast. Sorry for your eyes. Yeah, these are sold. So some of these um, Coors patches, you know, depending on the patch, five bucks, seven bucks, ten bucks, depending on what it is, um, just to give you an idea. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're buying a, a hat for a quarter, or this was for a dollar, and you've got a patch on there worth ten dollars, or you got ten patches, so, you know, some people might have a bunch of patches on it. So here's the Miller one, and I couldn't find my exact patches either, so these were some sold on the Miller patches. I'm seeing the traditional Miller one, but like here's a white one, Miller High Life, 29 bucks. Are these sold? Hang on, let me scroll back up. Yeah, these are sold. Okay, so um, I will come. I'm gonna. I see some questions, so I'll come back to the chat in a minute and answer questions. Um, and then Texarkana. I was like, well, let me see if there's any Texarkana patches that have sold, and there were. You know, this was a college security Texarkana college patch, so you never know. Somebody might want it. And this is just me doing more searching for my 
my Shriner hats that I can't find the exact same ones, which is fine. All right, so here's my ACL hat, my Austin City Limits, which I am hoping to go to in October because Tenacious D is going to be there. And we're, my sister and I are trying to convince my dad to come to Austin to babysit both, all of our kids so that she and I can go to Tenacious D in October. That's the plan. <laughs> we're trying to convince him it's a really good idea. So um, I might need to save it for my the D. Um, anyway, so here are some Austin City Limits hats that have sold. Again, I couldn't find this one when I did a search here or when I did a Google search or when I looked. Um, so I saw that they've got some similar type items up, but um, like they have this one with the white stitching, but this one's got the red stitching and it's an older design. And I looked it up. Austin City Limits started in 2002. So... Okay. So it's a little bit older on that one. So I'll probably sell it for 25 30 bucks, somewhere in that range. It's in really good shape. And then here's the sorry about that, Texas. Um, I couldn't look. This one down here that's red, um, that's on Etsy, I clicked on it, and it's not there. I can't find it. So that kind of stinks because that was the closest one I could find to mine. But I it, it wasn't there when I clicked on it, which happens sometimes. This one that's on Zazzle, hang on, let me scoot it over so you can see it is one that's like a screen printed hat. So somebody has, like Zaggles, Zazzle's like a print on demand type of deal, like merch by Amazon and Printful and all that. So it's just somebody has it, it's not vintage. They're just screen printing it on there. So this Etsy one, darn it, is not, <laughs> isn't there. So that's the screen printed one on Zazzle. They want 17 or 16.75 for it. And then my Etsy one, no, it didn't show up. So I was looking. So uh, on the other Alaska hats, I'm seeing, you know, 20 bucks, 18. I don't know. Mine's pretty cool because it hits Alaska and it hits Texas. I can't see a Texan wearing this, though. <laughs> Somebody in Alaska is going to have to wear it. Or maybe an Alaskan living in Texas, which I know one right now, Nicole. Do you want this hat? Um, <laughs> for 30 bucks, it's yours. Um, so, yeah, an Alaskan living in Texas would... We might need to be strong and big to wear that hat, but why not for fun? Okay, so let's take a look at some of the hats that I have sold um, on eBay and Etsy. So let me start by saying these are all going to show up like they look like they're on Etsy. Okay, but the, the thing is, is that when, when I sell something on eBay, I can make it inactive on Etsy. And then, because um, on eBay, you know, the sells go away. You can't see them anymore after like, what is it, 60 or 90 days or something like that. But on eBay, I mean on Etsy, it'll still show up in my inactive. So I still have all my photos there and my information and everything like that. So this one sold on eBay just like last week. I just shipped it off. And I was really worried that it wouldn't sell because it had, look, you could see that kind of rusty color where the... Um, sweat stains, right? Gross. And for whatever reason, I missed that when I picked it up. But I'm so glad I got it. Look. Um, because it did. It sold. So, and I can't remember. Okay, I have inventory notes so I can see. I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale. Um, oh yeah, Kelly in the chat saying you can use Flipper Tools to look up the sold price. Yeah. Flipper Tools will show you the sold price for um, Etsy. It'll show you the best offer that was taken on eBay. Um, so yeah, it's a really great tool. Okay, so here's another one, Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo hat. Um, and when I took the picture, this is a tip, like I, I didn't take the picture, you know, I didn't show this, I showed the patch, because that's like, everybody knows what a blue hat looks like, right? So they want to see the patch up close. So it's a Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo hat, sold for $25. And this was a mesh back style, like trucker hat. So you know, it goes straight up, like that. So that would be considered more like a trucker style hat. Okay, let me flip through the rest of these, and then I'm going to come talk to you guys in the chat. And then this is a Vans off-the-wall hat. This one sold on eBay as well. Um, this one I sold for 25 bucks. So there's that. Just to kind of give you an idea. And again, you see this, like, big patch, right? So it's got this big patch. It's got the mesh back. Um, again, Global Truck Parts, Inc. Who knows this company? I didn't know this company, but somebody wanted it, so... There we have it. So 25 bucks on that one. A couple of these might have been, if, if it was sold on eBay, um, it might, I might have taken a best offer on it. But 
that's what I had it listed for. So this one, this Lady Luck hat sold on eBay as well. And this is another one. This one was like screen printed on the front. I'm, and I'm, it might be some other method, but you know what I mean. Heat transfer or whatever. Somebody's going to criticize if I use the wrong terminology. But anyway, so that one sold for 25 bucks. And then this one, this Dallas Volvo Trek Center, again, 25 bucks. And I know I'm going through these kind of fast. So here's Lone Star Flight Museum, Galveston, Texas. Actually, they're moving, so they're not going to be in Galveston. I don't know if they've moved yet. They're moving to Ellington, which is in Webster, I think. Um, so this one sold 25 bucks. Again, this one was on eBay. I'll know because here it says item sold. So this is one that sold on Etsy. So this Packers hat sold for 40 bucks on Etsy. I think this one's it took a little a little while. And I think Glenn Zuby has got a video that talks about these, like what these little things are on the side. Like there's these diamond things, and then there's one with flames, and, and there's some different ones. Hustler hacks is his channel. So, but he knows way better about that kind of stuff than I do. Um, so here is a Hook'em Horns. This sold again on Etsy for forty dollars. And this Acme truck line, <laughs> Corpus Christi, Texas, sold for twenty-five bucks on Etsy. If you're not um, cross-posting, it's, it's a good idea. I, you know, I have I cross-post most things, and when it sells, I just take it down off the other site. But it's it's a good way to make some get your things in front of more people. So here we go. This is this one sold for thirty six ninety nine. And I know I'm just kind of going through, like, just to give you an idea that it doesn't have to be like, oh, I have to just find the Mountain Dew hat or Caterpillar tractors or John Deere or big ones. Like, no, like, if you pick up a hat, the man, the myth, the fishing legend for a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, and flip it for 25 bucks, that's a really great profit. And I am going to link, I have a video that I show how I ship my hats. So, and I don't think it's really changed. So I'll, I'll share that with you guys, too. I think the only thing that changed on that was I put um, tissue paper on the hat, and I don't do that anymore. I put it in a poly bag. Okay, and this Hawaii hat sold for 25 bucks. This one has like puffy paint style on it and a uh, mesh back. So this one sold for 25. Fish Fear Me, this embroidered hat sold for 25. This was a Marlboro. I think like I could, probably could have gotten more for this. Now, so. Uh, Madhu says, when you sell and take down off the other side, do you get charged selling fees? No. It just says, you know, this item is no longer available. It's, it's one of the options when you're taking an, an item down off of it. Now, on Etsy, when you list something, you have a 20 cent listing fee, so that is a thing. But um, it's worth the 20 cents to sell it, I think. I think if I'm going to make the sale. Here's the Alvin Boxing Club hat. So this one, you know, it's got that patch that's sewn on or adhesived on and then I forget this one's sewn on there and then that mesh back this one sold for 25 and then this one is what is this Ferrari my kids would probably love this one right now uh, 30 bucks they're into Bugattis though <laughs> they have high aspirations um, here's a Vans hat this one's corduroy oh my gosh bring it corduroy it seems like it would be so hot and then a marathon oil hat sold for 25 dollars okay so once again be on the lookout for for vintage hats because they are still selling and these cool you know especially ones that have cool patches vintage ones and even if they look nasty I'll keep you posted on this grody hat it is crusty and disgusting and I just really wish I didn't have to touch it but I can't wait to sell it because I think I think it's gonna sell for a good profit and you might think I'm crazy but I have a hunch <laughs> I got a hunch all right. Um, let me, oh, I told you I would look in the chat. So let me look in the chat real quick. Say hey to everybody. Um, if you're hitting, if you are deciding to leave the video at this point, then thanks for coming. Uh, go down there, leave me a comment, and let me know if you've sold hats, if you just passed them by, or you know, like your best-selling one. Tell me something. Say hey. Okay. Hey in the chat, everybody. Hi Debbie and Connie and Sarah. Thanks for coming, Brenda and Te Texas. Brenda, hello. Uh, thanks, Mary, for coming and, and uh, moderating. We didn't have anybody that needed the boot today, so that's good. Hey, Lulu. Um, let's see. Connie says, I've heard that you can wash those kinds of hats on the top rack of the dishwasher, but I haven't tried it. I'm probably not going to. I'm going to leave it because I feel like, you know, like we might see a movie someday where it's like Nicolas Cage. No, he's not scruffy anymore. Nicolas Cage used to be scruffy. Matthew McConaughey or something. He's going to like 
I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see him in this nasty old hat now. Um, see, let's see. Hey, fine, aged fine. Thanks for coming. A motivated mom says, my husband has a huge collection of snack bags for himself. I've been trying to get him to get rid of some. I, honest to goodness, I wish I'd bought more. I was at an estate sale, and there was a big tub out on the back porch at this estate sale. And I think because I had, my sister was with me, and we had three kids, and I was just like, I knew it was tough, and it was crazy packed. People were bananas in there. Some guy yelled at me because he thought I was cutting in line. I mean, it was just nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello, Adrian. Greetings from the UK. Thanks for coming. Hi, Vaccaro boys. Thank you for coming as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I read that one before. Hey, Gretchen. And, oh, down the rabbit hole says, funny thing, there's a good wall almost right where the Alvin Boxing Club was. I think I know where that is now. Okay. Okay. Motivated Mom was asking, um, oh, hey, Lynn and Ros Rosalinda, thanks for coming. Motivated Mom's asking, I know it's off topic, but have you had any items that have relisted themselves on their own after you sold them uh, months ago? Not, I haven't yet, but I have heard about people having that happen. I haven't. But what I did notice is when I was um, reactivating my, because if you know, like, because when we moved and we were getting all our stuff, I had my store on vacation mode, so I kind of shut my eBay store down for a while. I closed my store and all of that. But when I reactivated everything, I went through and um, made sure I had all my inventory, and I had found a lot of things that were not, the listing wasn't there anymore. It was just gone. So I had to re, um, relist a few things. So that's the only thing I've had happen. Um, I want to know what your sister would think about that crusty hat. Um, I can't remember what she said about it, honestly. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> she was there. Um, let's see. And da, 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 da. okay, I've already answered that. Okay, all right, thanks uh, for coming, everybody, and I hope you found this video helpful. I've got more videos like this planned, so if you're uh, new here or you're just like checking it out to decide if this is your jam, then go down there and, and be the peanut butter to my jelly and hit the, the subscribe button. And I will uh, talk to you on the next one. Oh, I forgot, I'm doing OBS. I always forget what a button is. Hang on, here we go. All right. Bye, peanut butter. I'll see you later. <laughs>